Voters in Yemen went to the polls today to formally end the rule of Ali Abdullah Saleh, who ruled the country for more than three decades. Violence hit some polling stations amid high security. At least nine people were killed and half the stations closed early in some areas in the south, according to the BBC. Two bombings hit polling stations in Aden Monday. In the capital, Sana'a, however, there appeared to be high turnout with long lines outside poll centers and schools and mosques, according to international observers. The voting follows more than a year of protests and violent clashes as a youth-driven movement demanded the end to Saleh's power and a transition to a democratic government. There's only one candidate on the ballot, the vice president under Saleh, and some are concerned about the former ruler's continued influence after the vote. For more, we're joined by Ibrahim Katabi. He's with the Yemeni American Coalition for Change and also works for the Center for Constitutional Rights, which today called on the U.S. Department of Justice to investigate Saleh for allegations of torture and other human rights violations during his rule. Ibrahim Katabi joins us from New York. Welcome to FSRN. Thank you. Thank you for having me. There's only one candidate on the ballot today, Abed Rabu Mansour Hadi. Who is Al-Hadi and why are there no other candidates running? First of all, I just want to say the, um, these, uh, what, you, what they call the Gulf uh, Cooperation uh, Council is the one that Im- imposed the uh, terms and, and conditions and how Yemen should, uh, should run its business going forward uh, and run its government going forward. So the Gulf Initiative imposed that there should be only one candidate running for the president and that they basically suspended the Yemeni constitutions and all laws in, in place and imposed on Yemenis to actually only select one candidate. Um, Yemenis, the vast majority of Yemenis actually don't call this election and don't believe that this is an election because it's only one person who is running to become a president. Plus, um, the vast majority of Yemenis, um, including the youth, was not part of this initiative, was not participating in this initiative. And uh, other political groups, such as the Southern Movement on the, um, in the South, and also Al-Houthi's Movement in, in the North, were not part of this GCC initiative. And therefore, more than two-thirds uh, of the Yemeni public were not part of what they call uh, an election, which took place today in Yemen. And Hadi, the one candidate on the ballot? Hadi was uh, the vice president of Saleh um, for over a decade. He's a military man. Uh, Yemenis want a civilized system, want a civilized leader who can lead the, um, you know, the country going forward. They want uh, the rules of law. They want a new system. They want a system that actually ensures the rule of law, equal citizenship, and actually, you know, uh, hold people and officials accountable. You mentioned the Gulf Initiative that put this election in place. That uh, initiative was also endorsed by the United States. What other aspects of the initiative are in place, and how will that uh, influence what happens after this election? Well, basically, the, the, the worst part of the, the, the initiative is given Saleh and his regime immunity uh, from all the crimes they committed. Um, they, as you know, since the uprising just alone in February 2011, there have been over 2,000 Yemenis being murdered by this regime, uh, by direct um, forces, by Ali Saleh's forces. Um, this regime, uh, you know, led by Saleh, actually... Um, is is one of the most corrupted regime in the world, and it's it's well known for that. As you mentioned, Saleh received immunity from prosecution in exchange for him uh, stepping down. That was at least part of the deal. Now, Tawakal Karman, who's the Nobel Peace Prize laureate and part of the protest movement, has has called for a Truth and Reconciliation Commission, saying that it's necessary to achieve justice in in a new administration. With this immunity, is that a possibility moving forward? Uh, you know, I believe that um, there's a great hope that there will be accountability. Um, the movement and the uprising in Yemen, which led by the youth and civil society and the vast majority of Yemenis, will not go back home and will not stay silent. More than uh, 76% of the Yemeni population are under the age of 26. So that means the youth will lead this. The youth will make the real radical changes in the country, and they're the one that will, you know, put in place a new uh, system. 
The U.S. also has been very involved in Yemen. That's where the Obama administration killed the American citizen and Muslim cleric Anwar al-Awlaki and one other American in a drone strike in September 2011. Now, Obama has given his support to Hadi, the uh, vice president under Saleh. Is, is Hadi, the new president, expected to support U.S. military interests in the country? Well, I think the vast majority of Yemenis don't support any uh, military uh, intervene, uh, intervenes in Yemen. Um, they, they don't want anything outside of the, uh, the scope of law, um, outside the legal system. What it, what's, what's known, and, and I, I'm, I'm sure this is going to happen, is that any new government, and, and the vast majority of Yemenis, will support uh, the rule of law, will, will fight terrorism. That's, that's a given thing, but to go, how to go about that? A lot of people don't accept the drones. The drones have cost a lot of, uh, you know, c- civilians' lives. And, and therefore, um, what I think that the Obama administration need to do is to revisit its policy in Yemen and, and, and to side with the people. Um, the real policy that you, the, the U.S. should have is siding with democracy. Uh, making sure that uh, the rule of law is enforced, making sure that justice uh, is addressed. And that's the way to fight terrorism. Ibrahim Katabi is with the Yemeni American Coalition for Change. He joined us to talk about voting today in Yemen that ends the rule of Ali Abdullah Saleh and the continued calls for investigations into his rule. Thank you for joining us. Thanks. Thanks very much.